a rich me, a new you. And old niggas have stopped back in brand new life. Tupac ain't having no friends. Yeah, hold on. High five for. <laughs> After coming out of one incident, Combs finds himself engulfed in yet another. Been through sexual assault in the past too, and it's really f***ed up. And you know, it's not always something that you want to share all the details about. What's happening with Diddy is like, you know, the mask is kind of coming off, and people are coming out. I'm sorry you had to go through that, and may God protect you in the future. Like I have a lot of like respect for the women that are. Like this time, more evidence is emerging to support seeing Diddy Combs' status as a child molester. Join me inside. Diddy, his child, and I were there. Diddy, him and his boy, um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. More disturbing recordings of seeing Diddy Combs have surfaced in the wake of the current avalanche of accusations made against him. Famous music mogul Diddy is set to enter a new chapter in his life where he will spend more time in court than in the studio as a result of his multiple felony convictions. More charges have been made against Diddy, the most recent one involved a video that purportedly showed him frightening small children. Except for the case involving his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura, which was settled out of court, he has not responded to any of his lawsuits. And this has revealed seeing Diddy Combs for the wicked guy he truly is, shattering the hopes of many who kept believing in him despite the initial episodes. The first was the assault by his ex-girlfriends, which seriously damaged the mental health of victims like Cassie Ventura. However, it was soon moved from his former girlfriends to other unidentified women he had encountered elsewhere or at peculiar gatherings. More recently, his long-hidden ties to influential figures in pop culture were made public. And now it's a mixed-gender affair starring scene Diddy Combs and Little Children. However, it should come as no surprise to those who have been following Diddy's life's happenings. Former Combs employee Rodney Lilrod Jones, a producer and cinematographer, recently filed a lawsuit in which he was charged with many offenses, including assault and leading a massive and lethal drug trafficking organization. The case was filed in federal court in the Southern District of New York. Combs's attorney denied the allegations and called Jones's remarks untrue. His thoughtless use of names in connection with completely made-up and untrue events is nothing more than an obvious attempt to garner media attention. Numerous indisputable pieces of evidence have shown his comments to be wholly wrong. Diddy's attorney, Seen Hawley, revealed last month that Jones had alleged child abuse and human trafficking in a 79-page lawsuit. For those who have carefully examined Rodney Jones's lawsuits, he had previously spoken about children attending Diddy's crazy parties. Jones went on to say that Mr. Combs had threatened to eat Mr. Jones's face, and that the rap mogul's home was equipped with hidden cameras. Rodney Jones's allegations of Diddy's connection with minors are supported by the assumption that these kids sneak into his apartment through a secret tunnel in his house. For those who might be questioning the veracity of these claims, it's crucial to keep in mind that Justin Bieber and Usher Raymond first encountered seeing Diddy Combs when they were still in their early adolescent years. Usher Raymond was allegedly made to spend a year living at Diddy's home when he was 14 years old. His declaration that he would never let his daughter to stay with Diddy stood out as the most unforgettable aspect of his story. When Usher was a little child, he was endowed with the capacity to see beyond himself and carry out his visions. Notably, the Ridney Jones lawsuit exposed the secret relationship between a well-known R&B singer and scene Diddy Combs, who was featured in the Super Bowl halftime show and Usher Raymond, who Puff Diddy had begun teaching about wrongdoing at the age of 14, was the only one at fault. Perhaps people who question these claims are overlooking the fact that, if Usher had to endure all of this, he was definitely abused. I would not be performing at any gigs, anything like that, um, for security reasons, my family, friends, and everyone close to me. Moreover, Justin Bieber's experiences at Favor Camp were no different from abuse because at the age of 15, he was forced into terrible acts of behavior with Diddy. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? That young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and yeah. everything? Starting to act different, huh? No, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know. According to the court records obtained, Diddy was accused of harassing Rodney Lilrod Jones, his eight-year-old daughter, her mother, and his ex-spouses. 
Jones, the creator of Bad Boy Entertainment, has allegedly been sending operatives to threaten his daughter and other family members, according to documents filed by his lawyers. Combs's mention of his daughter surprised a lot of people, who were shocked that he would harass his employee's kid. That just serves to corroborate the already-made public audio of him with young children. Without a doubt, seeing Diddy Combs is a pedophile. Jones further claimed that Diddy had been making up stories about him for certain news outlets, because of Diddy's alleged harassment of Jones which has instilled a sense of fear and possible danger. Jones' family and loved ones have taken action and filed a police case. Jones further asserted that Diddy had contacted the producer's friends in an effort to persuade him to replace his attorney with a person connected to the hip-hop mogul. Jones also says that during his time working on the project, he witnessed Diddy, his staff, and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. Jones went on to say that Diddy frequently touched and harassed him, and that the rap mogul made him go pick up prostitutes to bring back to Diddy's mansion. But in his case, Diddy disputed Rodney Jones' claims. But Rodney Jones has already made public a second tape that purports to capture Diddy abusing and intimidating kids at a number of his outrageous parties. Surprisingly, he wasn't the only renowned person to witness this, as a number of other well-known individuals observed him touching and groping both men and women. They would have been aware of the Diddy and tape leak story. The audio clip that Rodney Jones posted with Puff Diddy and Meek Mill was one of the most shocking recent revelations. The ongoing feud between Diddy and Meek Mill has sparked a lot of debate and speculation on many platforms, particularly in light of the audio clip that was made public and allegedly showed the two musicians in a compromised situation. Fans and reviewers alike, in addition to the participating artists, have responded to this development with great fervor. Meek Mill has been vocal on social media, vehemently refuting the charges and expressing his belief that they are offensive and inaccurate. Meek Mill made it apparent in his tweets that he sought to uphold his reputation by declaring that he considered these charges as an assault on his character, and that he thought they were false and harmful. Numerous memes and social media posts that have surfaced in response to the leaked audio clip and the accusations that followed have further muddied the story. For instance, an old video of Diddy, Usher, and Kevin Hart featuring Diddy talking about how they used to wake up together and wrestle went viral. As a result, rumors and speculation are running rampant. Other admirers also posted comments on the tape that was leaked. A fan said, I'm not sure if this is consenting or not. It sounds like Meek begged for it, even though it didn't sound like he loved it. I don't know why, but this whole incident makes me think negatively of the rap industry. Should Meek be sincere in his efforts to secure a new contract, there's no guarantee that other rappers won't be following suit. Another individual tweeted, Most of them are. Not all, but most of them. Furthermore, I doubt that he enjoyed it, and that's what pisses off a person like Diddy. Wicked misuse of power. He knows full well that this man is straight, but he's using it as a means of getting ahead. Power is the basis of everything. A third enthusiast said that Diddy's beard looks like a nut bag, a jockstrap for his chin, and an athletic booster of P. Diddy. However, another shocking revelation is the collection of Diddy's issues by Donald Trump Jr. According to Donald Trump Jr., Kim Porter, the late long-term partner of Scene Diddy Combs, was afraid of the rapper, and he doesn't believe pneumonia played a role in her passing. The 46-year-old former president's oldest son disclosed the unsubstantiated rumors that his late wife Vanessa was good friends with Porter, who passed away in 2018, during an appearance on the Academics podcast this week. Before entering politics, Trump Jr. remembers attending the parties of the elite and frequently meeting celebrities while growing up in New York City. He went on, My ex-wife was really good friends with Kim Porter. After Porter died, Vanessa called and said, There's a problem. Porter had a real fear of Diddy. She was having these old years-old conversations with my ex-partner. She gave off the impression that she was always terrified of something happening, and I reasoned with her that not many people die of pneumonia at 47. I spoke with someone close to her about that, not to spread any kind of rumor. Trump Jr. also said that Diddy turned into a radical lefty, maybe as a result of some of his recent behavior. News sources have not independently confirmed Trump Jr.'s claims, but Los Angeles officials have concluded that Porter died of pneumonia as a result of a lung ailment. Ventura, his ex-girlfriend, filed a lawsuit against him, claiming that for over a decade he had drugged, beat, and forced her to have sex with male prostitutes while he watched and recorded. 
Cassie and a number of other women who have filed lawsuits against the hip-hop mogul for alleged sexual assault in recent months are reportedly helping federal investigators look into potential sex trafficking. Cassie has been working with investigators for a few weeks, according to someone with direct information, TMZ reported on Wednesday. The circumstances suggest that the 37-year-old musician was working with federal officials before the two homeland security raids on the homes of rappers, who eventually became executives in Miami and Los Angeles. How do you feel about Diddy's most recent tapes? Do you believe that he is more than this? Kindly express your opinions in the space provided for comments, and don't forget to give him further likes. Remember to leave us a comment with your opinions and to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Goodbye until we talk again.